I was doing documentaries, and I was kind of bored, silly, and I said, why can't television do what Life Magazine did? Put out a publication that is in every home in America. It wasn't so much the stories they did, is there were these great covers that were the attraction that everybody looked at and believed in. And I said, that's what I need. I need great covers. And I found them. I'm Mike Wallace. I'm Harry Reisner. I'm Morley Safer. I'm Dan Rather. I'm Ed Bradley. I'm Diane Sawyer. I'm Steve Croft. I'm Meredith Vieira. I'm Bob Simon. I'm Leslie Stahl. Those stories and Andy Rooney tonight on 60 Minutes. These were my great covers backed up by some of the most incredibly talented producers in the business. And that's why it still works all these years later. This is 60 Minutes. It's a kind of a magazine for television. I remember our very first broadcast. We had no competition as far as a news magazine was concerned back then. We had civil rights, Watergate, all of that, all to ourselves. I think it was at the first show that Richard Nixon made that extraordinary statement. Uh, let, me, let me make this one point. Some, some public men are destined to be loved, and other public men are destined to be disliked. Uh, but the most important thing about a public man is not whether he's loved or disliked, but whether he's respected. And I hope to restore respect to the presidency uh, at all levels by my conduct. That's one of the great quotes of ever been on this broadcast. You've been at CBS News for more than 50 years. You worked on the on the first newscast. Mm -hmm. I'll call you Tuesday. Uh, call okay. me Tuesday when you get back. Call me tomorrow. Right. What Excellent. was television like back in the Stone Age? <laughs> it was like a bunch of kids playing with Play-Doh. Stand by. Punch Chicago. We had no idea what we were doing in the early days. There's a feeling of somebody goofed. Somebody there's goofed supposed to right. be a flood <laughs> control gate in this area. One of some 80s category on the city's flood control wall. It was horse and buggy. It was so horse and buggy and that... And fun, uh, right? Fun. But nobody knew what he was doing. But you didn't care because who had a television set? We are, as newcomers to this medium, rather impressed by the whole thing. Impressed, for example, that I can turn to Don Hewitt here and say, uh, Don, will you push a button and bring in the Atlantic coast? You were in on a lot of firsts. You were in on a lot of things that had never been done before in the business, like presidential debates. It was not my idea to have a presidential debate, but I got tapped to do the first one. All right, uh, can you take camera two, please? I was kind of awed by that whole thing. I mean, nobody had ever done this before. All right, what we will do is this. And it was up to me to sort of tell these guys what the rules were, what they had to do, what they didn't have to do. And then we move over here, right? Right, good. There weren't that many rules. We were making things up as we went along, and I was hepped on this thing. In the, the decades, the half century that you'd been involved in this. You had to remind me of that. <laughs> What's your proudest moment? I, I think probably it's 60 Minutes, and you guys. You, you look back on all these things, and you can't believe that you lived through all this.